Yesterday we received a new monthly event in Red Dead Online. Some people call it monthly update, some people call it trash. Okay, most people call it trash, but I will still call it monthly event, despite the fact that it's basically just a new bonuses and discounts. No new content, nothing like that. Anyway, yesterday I already told you about discounts that we will receive in April, and spoilers, they are not significant at all. I saw no real bonuses and therefore called this monthly event like the weakest monthly event since December. Later, Rockstar posted a news wire, and yes, there are a lot of bonuses, but still I think that it's the weakest monthly event. We're gonna talk about these bonuses in details and I will explain why. Ok, let's take a look at the news wire. But why a lot of people told me that they were extremely disappointed when saw this news wire and you will understand why. So first of all we see that there are triple rewards for tough telegram missions for the stealthy tough business telegram missions there are three three of them and as you can see there are triple money and experience not gold okay what is this tough business because kind of funny but many players don't even know what that is and actually i think the main reason of these bonuses of this april's monthly event is basically just to tell new players that hey, we have these missions, different type of missions. So actually, let me show you how to play in this tough business mission. You need to open your bag, go to documents, then find telegrams. It's important, if you don't have telegrams in your bag, you need to visit post office first. Open telegrams and here you go. Call to arms, new source of employment, which is regular telegram missions, and tough business. You open it and there will be three different missions. It's kind of interesting, but you cannot choose a difficulty level. Once you're gonna complete it on the lowest difficulty, it's gonna be harder and then it's gonna be ruthless. On ruthless, you don't have auto aim. You are forced to play with free aim, even if you play on a console with a controller and you don't see your enemies on minimap. Additionally, they are kind of hard, so, you know, completing such mission without stealth is really challenging. And remember, you can play in these missions only solo. And that's why I think that actually this particular bonus is not that good for beginners, because it's almost impossible to complete such mission on a ruthless difficulty for a new player with a brute force, you know, without stealth, just going and shooting everyone. It's kind of challenging even for a high level player, but for a beginner it's almost impossible. So they will be almost forced to play it in stealth. And stealth is, you know, it's there are a lot of questions to stealth system in Red Dead Online. So what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, it looks like a good bonus, but even with triple money, probably not gonna be too attractive for beginners. And for high level players, they don't really care about money, especially about dollars and experience. Gold is a kind of different story, but high level players don't really care about dollars. Anyway, Let's go back to the news wire. There are some small bonuses for these telegram missions each week. For example, this week it's 50% uh, uh, off at stable slot if you will complete a one horse deal. It's a regular telegram mission. Um, I mean, this bonus is just not significant, just pretty much like any other bonus for completing this telegram mission. So I don't think it's super attractive. But let's go further. Double money for blood money. Yeah, it sounds weird, but again, a lot of new players don't really know about blood money missions, game doesn't really like forces such missions to you, and that's why Rockstar decided to remind players, or actually let players know, beginners know, that there are such thing as blood money contracts and blood money opportunity mission. Again, we don't have here double gold, only double dollars and experience, for opportunity missions and additionally if you will complete any opportunity each week you will receive 96 rounds of high velocity revolver ammo why 96 i have no idea don't ask me ask rockstar but they will not answer to you because they don't care anyway another not that great bonus for beginners in my opinion because again opportunity missions 
if you will try to complete them solo with a brute force and you are a beginner without ability cuts, without good weapons, without tonics, well they are kinda hard. Plus you will need to grind so called capitale to even start such missions. So, I don't think it's that much of a great grinding method, even for beginners. On the other hand, well, still I have to admit that with double payout there will be some good money and additionally you will receive some gold for completing such opportunities for the first time, so maybe it's worth to try such missions, especially if you have not completed them yet, because yeah, they are kinda interesting. I'm just saying that it's not that much of a great money making method for beginners and for high level players as well because high level players has other money making methods that are still better. But let's continue with bonuses. So first interesting bonus, double everything on call to arms. In my opinion call to arms is a great money making method even without extra payouts but when there are extra payouts it's just, it's just must have. But you know what, there is still one thing I need to mention. For beginner it's gonna be super hard to earn any significant money with call to arms just because much making for this mode is not really working and people don't play call to arms too often and therefore when you will try to enter call to arms and again it can be found in your telegrams in your bag you will most of the time end up playing it solo and for high level player completing it solo is possible but it makes no sense from the money making point of view just because you will waste a lot of time but for beginner completing it solo is just impossible like it's not gonna happen pretty much never so to make any sort of a money from call to arms even with bonus you have to have some friends you need to have you know consistent posse some players you play with at least two other players if you are a beginner so i mean this bonus looks great and it is great but only if you have friends only if you have posse and i mean how many players will be able to take advantage from this pretty good bonus but many high level players say play alone because all their friends stopped playing Red Dead Online already and beginners they just don't have any friends. Before we continue I need to mention something, at least someone is doing good job at Rockstar and have some sort of a passion to Red Dead Online. I'm talking about people who are making these pictures, well they, they look good, like all these pictures especially. Uh, you know, they are new, first of all, especially this one, I really like this picture, big respect to, to the person who made this picture. And big respect to anyone who placed a like already and just biting for likes. Also, there are triple money and experience for featured series and there will be different hardcore game mode each week. Some of them are pretty nice, like shootout, I like shootout series, uh, but it's gonna be only for one week. And now we are moving to the fun part. So first of all, as bonuses and rewards. Determined co-pokes who will complete 7 daily challenges in one week will receive a rare green pattern bandana. Like, like this one. How do you like it? Co-pokes! Yo, co-poke! How you doing? Rockstar are cool. They talk with people. No. There are also discounts, I've already told you about them, but like uh, in a few words there is a discount on revolvers, roll outfits, race horses and chaps, so like doesn't really matter. And now my favorite part, I mean it's just, it's just a pure humor. Prime Gaming, there is such thing from Amazon. Red Dead Online players who connect their Rockstar Games social club account to Prime Gaming through my fourth will receive a reward for a free pair of selected boots, an offer for 50% off an elephant rifle and a reward for 25 capitale. It's just, it's just like they were sitting at Rockstar and trying to figure out how to make the worst possible bonus for prime gaming users. It's just, it's just laughable. Capitale. Everybody hates Capitale. Elephant rifle discount. It's not even a weapon really. It's more like a cosmetics. Pair of selected boots. 
but, but why? Who will care about such bonuses? And I remember back in the day they were given bounty hunter license for free to everyone who connected prime gaming and social club anyway guys as you can see there are some bonuses this month but they might look good but on practice i don't think that too many players will be like extremely happy about such bonuses and the most important thing is most players don't really care about discounts and bonuses we need new content we need new updates real updates not these pathetic monthly updates events whatever you call them real updates and that's why a lot of players are disappointed but aside from that i still think that even across monthly events in april we received something like not that cool but it's just my opinion let me know your opinion in the comments and as always thank you for watching and thanks to all my patreon supporters big thanks stay healthy goodbye